We'll keep our eyes on all these things. I don't think Kirk's going to share with you guys the snacks. Oh, well. <laughs> I'll send it back to you. Look at that, huh? This is part of a backfire that the fire department's now doing. we got to get out of here. He's stuck with me today. I meant to do that. This wet, winding track is called the skid pan, both because of all the vehicles skidding around and because of how your brain feels like it was just hit with a frying pan after all the spin outs and hard turns you do. This hit and run vehicle almost certainly has some damage done to its front side, possibly a smashed windshield, a dented bumper, or a. It's right there! Broken headlight in the front. Chances are because it has the car. Weather. Nothing will stop local TV reporter Steve Coos of KTLA 5 from bringing us the news. Because Steve Coos is a bad. <laughs> he handles his live remotes like Jason Bourne. Don't get in his way. It's KTLA Steve Coos live in Hollywood. Steve. Years ago, my good shit. And the cop came over and he said, um, Steve Cooge. <laughs> I'm watching Clive right now. Awesome. Awesome. Come on, up, up, amazing. Steve, we're going to see you. High five, Steve. And uh, let's just end this on a high note, hopefully. Here we go. Oh! Yeah, there it is. Oh! Woo! Thank you. <laughs> oh, he's our superhero, Steve Cooge. Today is his last day at yeah. KTLA. He's leaving to go to New York. We're sad to see you go, my friend. Mm -hmm. Steve, those, those were some it's good a, memories. It, it is. I'm leaving Los Angeles with a ton of memories. I mean, almost nine years here with KTLA holding the the, 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 the KTLA mic flag. And it is a little emotional. I mean, look, uh, Frank Buckley, he couldn't even be here today. He was so just overcome <laughs> with emotion. Yep. He's taking uh, the day off. <laughs> You're right. <laughs> oh, yeah. For, <laughs> for anybody who's curious, my, my family and I were moving over to New York. Um, no, I don't have any amazing jobs, offers, so not that that's stressing me out at all, but <laughs> we're just moving to New York to be closer to our family, our extended relatives. Uh, I got two little children, for those of you who don't know, a uh, three-year-old son named Asher and a little girl named Ava, who's about to be a year old, mm -hmm. and we're just hoping to you know, include their grandparents, aunts and uncles in their lives as we continue to go forward here. Not that I don't love Los Angeles, it's just like all our families over there, so you know, we had to cut the ties and, and go as tough as it is because there are so many wonderful people that, you know, I'll be leaving behind um, so many friends and great coworkers at KTLA and then just the, the amazing people here in the Los Angeles market. I mean, I've worked in cities and stations all across the country, mm -hmm. Eric and Jess, and, you know, I can I can honestly say I've never been in an area where more people out on the street will randomly pull their cars over, run over to say, hey, I watch you on KTLA. We love you guys. Um, it's just the sense of community here is really warming and you know it touches me every time i'm out doing whatever kind of story it is whether it be you know some crazy police incident uh, a scary wildfire or some you know insane celebrity drama you know whatever it is there's always you know the, the people here in the station uh in this market who watch us really i think are one of the perks of working here at absolutely KTLA. can you give us a uh, martial arts kick here you know since it's your last day <laughs> Let, let, let's see, let's see. Okay, let me stretch out my legs. Stretch no, it out. I mean, I got, Those I got, are tight <laughs> jeans. We'll see. Got to get ready for it. I've been talking about monster truck. These are tight jeans. All right. We'll do a, a spin back kick. Here we go. One, <laughs> two, three. Oh, yes. It's like a roundhouse. Congratulations. Ooh, very, Here, come here, Ed. I'll, kick over your, I'll kick over my photographer's head. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. We are Thank going to miss you, my friend, and I don't know we what I'm going to do now. I'm going to go around the newsroom. I always go around and try and mimic your authoritative voice. I'm Steve Kouj. Yeah. Who will I say that to? <laughs> yeah. I'm, I'm sorry to see you go. And one uh, of the nicest guys you'll ever meet, minus really the fact that you gave that guy mm -hmm. the stiff arm that one time. <laughs> <But> <laughs> Great reporter. <laughs> but Great you I didn't know what he was going to be doing exactly. with me. I was scared. Exactly. Yeah. No, you're the sweetest. Exactly. You're the sweetest. Good luck to you and to your family. Thank we'll you, see you again uh, with more on the monster trucks a little bit later on. Yeah. Thanks so much. Coming up. Yeah, uh, monster jam. Yeah. Uh, troubling issues here and across the country are getting more attention on a federal level. U.S. Senator Alex Padilla joins us live to talk about what's being done to prevent.